Hello again, this is Adam from Paragraph.pl and uh, today we continue with the real flow series and we're gonna look at the daemon which is called the noise field daemon. So stay with me to see how the noise field daemon works uh, in Cinema 4D. Let's begin. So we're here in the Cinema 4D, let's add the basic scene with the circle emitter. Let's uh, crank up a little bit resolution up to 10 and uh, let's add a daemon and it's a um, noise field daemon. As you see, the noise field daemon, he got also this um, icon, which is, uh, you can see how it works, but it's basically like kind of like turbulence. And let's adding um, a different forces a little bit for your, for your particles to see, uh, to get the, the get the effects kind of like turbulence, but it's not always like the same. So here, uh, with the basic coordination object, that's a normal thing, fall off, it's the normal thing. Noise field here, we got link fluids, we can get a, get the force, uh, affect force or velocity, uh, constant speed or speed uh, with the emitter and noise field, but we staying on force and most of the cases, the force, it's work uh, pretty much. Here is the strength, and that's a very simple one. You just uh, get uh, more strength up or down. Uh, but let's see how this works in the practical way. So basically we push play and directly if we turn off our force, uh, the noise field demon, nothing happened. But when we turn on or when, when we add, we see some turbulences. And that's already a very, very nice effect. And strength is the strength. When you crank up, we got crazy strength, we got minus crazy strength. So let's keep this one around uh, 100. And then we got uh, here two sliders, noise space scale. And that's um, uh, these numbers. We're not manipulating so much with the with the big numbers. We go mostly with the 0 0.07, uh, 0 0.08, 1.2. So it's a small changes, okay? And basically, what this uh, noise space scale does, it's um, putting us, uh, showing us the, the the frequency of this uh, noise field. And I got this uh, small picture over here, and that's a uh, uh, low frequency, medium frequency and high frequency. Like you see, this, the low frequency, the, the wave, the amplitude uh, through the time is gonna go like this. And uh, to see this, we're gonna just put this 1.2, for example, and we just push play. Then you see the old streak streak uh, with the particles working like the small wave. Okay, let's uh, extend the timeline so we can see a little bit different. But when you got this, you see this going slowly like a like a wave left or right okay so this is this picture here low frequency when we're gonna put this more like uh, let's say 10 the frequency is so high that almost you cannot see the different okay so like like here the frequency it's no different through the time so higher frequency shorter uh, space between those particles and very difficult to see the effects so when you got the value uh, under the one, it's uh, most actually reasonable and working stuff. Of course, it depends what you want it. So this is the noise pulse field. A noise time scale, it's the time scale, scale affecting uh, our particles uh, to this noise. And if you want to see this a little bit uh, clearer, then we have to add the noise just to just to see how this works add the noise to the color channel and we go for the noise and here we got the animation speed so basically what what this is is the animation speed for the for the particles okay so it's gonna work like almost like here but this is a very example so you got the animation speed let's put a one and on this uh, square here push the right and let's animate like you see this noise got animating and it's the same here when we push play Okay, this noise is animating through some time. So uh, if we're gonna get the three, that's a different time scale. It's a pattern. It's the same here. When you get the animation speed of four, for example, and let's get the animate here. Uh, that's a, a time when it's gonna work. You see, this is the faster, 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 faster. So basically, this one is also we're living at the at the small scale. Of course, it's, it depends what you wanna what you wanna get on what kind of effects. But this is uh, like I explained on the noise 
scale here of course you can get the different and here we can get the minuses strength and uh, without any extra forces this demon like I say give you a little bit different effects like you see this is pushing like this so this the small numbers it give you the all different kind of look and of course strength and speed is also depends on noise scale and all this stuff like remember the frequency here is like this smaller frequency is the more visible thing and the time scale is the time scale of uh, this random noise so uh, this is how the noise field uh, working of course when you're gonna get the special effects different stuff you're gonna see how this works in the full effect but this is what they give you the idea how the noise field uh, works and it's a turbulence thing kind of uh, to achieve the effects uh, how the particle got the disturbed uh, in uh, in some time with the frequency and the time of the noise of the frequency it's quite complicated to explain but it's easy to do so uh, just try to do stuff and uh, watch my continuous series with the real flow we're gonna jump to another demons and then after we're gonna go for the mesh and then after i'm gonna just record some effects with the water and all these different collider stuff so we can get uh, actually a lot of fun so thank you for today i see you in the next one <laughs>